So people are asking, what does a new DSM-5 mean for me? The answer is that for people who don't already have a diagnosis, there are new criteria. But for people who do have a diagnosis of anything on the autistic spectrum, whether it be Asperger's or PDD-NOS or high-functioning autism, whatever it happens to be, they will continue to receive a diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder. Those words and cl classifications are going away, and we're replacing them with new standards and new methods of determining what supports are necessary. But the autism classification will still be there. So I encourage you to read the rest of the article that goes along with this video and understand what DSM means for you. Thank you.